We didn't even do no tour of the place. We walked in and our Airbnb um, host was like, you guys need a cab? And I was like, yeah. So he got us a cab to um, the House of Slaves and that's where we headed to now. Yes. Um, when we tried to look online to find the address to the port, we were having a hard time. So he was, came in clutch for this situation. Yes, he did. So That's why we needed the tour. Yeah, but anyway, so you guys come I along. people we made it to the port we got our tickets here and now it's just time to wait waiting for the boat to come here and pick us up and uh, take us to the island how was the whole process um it was fairly easy i mean well we made it here a lot earlier so um we put up we set our south for what how long about, about about 40 minutes about 30 40 minutes we waited outside have a whole lot of chairs for you to sit out there and, and, and wait at, wait for the other tour to get back so we can get on the ship. I think they're just pulling up now, actually. So, yeah, so I guess whenever they get off, it's going to be about our time to get on. So, yeah, you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, our ferry has arrived. It is time for us to get on this little boat right here and um, go to the House of Slaves. This is the port in Senegal. So this is where you come at. Oh, look, that was the ship we was talking about yeah, getting on. Get, get yeah, so that's pretty cool. All of this is right here. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and um get on the ship. And why am I calling the ship? It's a boat. What would you call it? It's a little boat, right? Yeah, so we're going to get on a little boat, a little ferry boat. I think that's what they call them. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get over here and go for a ride on the boat, a little boat. It's pretty cool. Yep. So let's hurry up and get in there so we can get some good seats. Yeah. See you guys in there. So yeah, we decided to sit on the top. So I guess now we just we just waiting for everybody else to get on and uh, to Gori Island and and I guess it looks I guess it's really really big because they were saying it could take you a few hours in here mm -hmm. to tour it mm -hmm. but other than that we just decided we're just gonna start walking around just look around and then we'll start going to other places yeah. we from what we've heard somebody told us if you go to the house of slaves majority of the people when they leave out they be crying so not everybody but, but at least someone, he, was, he said a lot of the, the tourists the foreigners be crying by the time they leave which makes me feel like i'm a little bit like oh. and then there was another guy who was telling us this was this is one of the last slave port uh, let me not even say that because i'm not even sure what he, but we glad we made it and we can see but i feel like it has a dark history When we arrived here, we just thought it was the the house of slaves, and that was it. We did not realize it was shops and everything, so we did not carry extra or extra money with us. So we couldn't even get the guide because we had to find a way back. And this is happening to us again. We can feel so bad, but we can go to the house of slaves, but we can't be able to even buy like the merchandise or even get food in here if we wanted to. But still. We're still making the most of it. And we've just been able to just walk around and see what's around. And then we're saving the the, the house for last. So like we was telling you guys earlier, um, cash is king around here. Yeah. Um, you know, cards work, you know, in some places, but out here cash is your best friend. Yeah. And um, we've been able to operate usually with the card. So we don't always carry cash on us. So now we're like, okay, we need to make sure we always have enough not too much but just some yeah just enough to do the activities that you want to do you know i mean so you know you can you can you can do those things because um unfortunately 
some things that we wanted to do we're not going to be able to do because we do not have the cash to do it um so yeah i mean the little cash we do have is to get us back to where we lay our heads at mm -hmm. and that's it so, so you know i yeah. I, th I think this is probably going to be one of our main lessons learned yeah you know i know we said it before but you know us not being able to do certain things and, they, and there's no atm at, Keep at that the a, port it was yeah at the port but it we is thought we were fine cause, but we still didn't realize there was shops here and yes. so much and restaurant but that's on us for not doing the extra research either yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and enjoy what we can enjoy guys and uh and just make do what we have and have a good time still yeah so you guys stay tuned come along with us okay so a little history about this island it's pretty much known as the the port for where the slave, pretty much this port was for the atlantic slave trade that's what it was known for it the portuguese are the ones who started the kidnapping of the african people here around 1539 and actually and many other countries joined along portugal dutch french and british but the french are the one who kind of put a halt in it 312 years later so many years of just it took so long for somebody to say enough. enough is enough you know enough is enough it's, it's, it's just even hearing saying it out loud or just even knowing that it's just like these are human beings you're treating like cattle yeah but that's what this whole reason was they pretty much they fight it for this because it was in the port where they were able to do all that training okay you look like senegalese I'm Kenyan. <laughs> ah, Jambo. Ah, I'm Zuri Sana, Jambo. Yabariaka. Well, are you Swahili? The last one on this island been up to 1776 to 78. In this place, 150 slaves were chopped women. Men, women, and children. The condition you can imagine, the slip die like a fly. The massa they are around, they don't care. They care. 20 men inside. 20? 20 men here, stay down, the master join them by chance. They wait here three months. Every day the master walk around, come in the door to ask a slave, who want to go to toilet? So they get toilet once a day to go to toilet. Six million. Six million died. Died condition and sick in this place. Because of sickness. And 20 million was taken. For children, it's more than 50%. The children for sale, I mean, children sales. It is place seven to twelve years. Seven to twelve years old for children. Separate to the parents here, put them here. Oh, separated. Separate to the parent, put them in this place. The children cry. And what about for women who had smaller babies? What yeah, would they do? They're with the mothers. Oh, they would stay with the mothers. With the mother. But even with the even even with the, the 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 mom with the swell, when the mom's sick. Nobody around to carry baby, so they throw all of them in the sea for sharks. They don't care. See? This one is like a jail, the punishment. Mm. They put those on fight for freedom. Punish. You see? Punish men and punish women around. At 1991, we will come here next to he came here. Mandela stay inside and cry in this place. Mandela, remember? Yeah. He said Mandela came? Nelson Mandela, yes. Oh. Yeah. So this is a punishment for men and the punishment for women. Oh, punishment for men. You come, you take picture. You do that. A little bit. Because this, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is our answers, where our answers uh, feel hard. So you, you, you get move inside the picture. Yeah. You see? You it's hard to get in. Hand, yeah. Be careful with your hand. And that's where people would right. go for punishment. Go all the way in. No, it's that's Oh it's, that's it? Yeah, because he's a little bit uh, yeah. So you can imagine. You see, here about five people or more than five. And close door by the metal gate. So they close door by the metal gate. To maintain them here one, two weeks. It's dependent on the master. 
And they would be punished if they try to escape, or why would they be to escape or fight masters? That oh. time they have some strong Africans say no, they won't die, but they don't want any chance. They say we want freedom, we want to go home. They yeah. Fight. Yeah. Like me, if I'm here at that time, I'm going to this place. Yeah. Yeah, because of course, we need to fight to go home, to get freedom. Yeah. That's why they put them here. For ladies, it's like that. Extremely. And there was multiple people in there. You wasn't in there by yourself. How many ladies would they have in here? Five to ten. Can you imagine that? But before the door, look about the big sales for ladies, I say. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. It's, I guess there was a lot of ladies, because this one is very yeah. big. You how many because people there were? Just, you know. No, I know, I'm saying compared to the men space. You just cram them in there. Pretty much the men were able to run away, but because the women had the children, they couldn't run away, and that's why mm -hmm. their space is bigger than the men's. It's despicable. See? Mm -hmm. 400 years, 1444 to 1848, 20 million people, African. 14, 44, 40, 40, 40, 1448 to, 1848. to 1848, 20 million people were taken. Left from here to America. 6 million died, condition and sickness. Six, that's a lot of people. 6 million died because of sickness. And they died here, not even the traveling. No, it's, uh, it's okay. Door of no return is like one way. The door of no return. This was considered the door of no return. Yes. When the ship arrived, like a sailing boat every three months, so the muscle infection sometimes, they just throw them in the sea when they get infection. Africans fight, different tribes fight, but we never sell products to another world. We don't know that. So you're saying it's a European saying that the Europeans, Africans sold Africans, but yes, that's not true. Not true. Huh. Not true, but because before the Europeans arrived here, we never know slavery. We never know slaves to sell people. Mm -hmm. We fight, kill, or you kill me or I kill you. Because I need to fish here, not you. This is my areas. I need to do uh, uh, to kill my animals in these areas. That time, African tribal fight for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we never know to keep someone, sell them other brother. No. Cause, cause I know for at least whenever I, you would hear it on school or something, they would say they would give them like I guess like money or incentive to no, sell somebody. No, no. Af Europeans, they are they are first responsible and the last responsible. First and last, because he came here with the ID to organize kidnapping and sell brothers in America. Mm -hmm. So they do that years and years, and so one time Africans say, wow. Every time when we see some sailing boat, some white people around, we lose some, some brother, some sister. Maybe these white people, they eat black. So then you need to run. And the Africans, when they see black, the white people, they, they run. Mm. What's your name? Issa. Issa? Issa, Issa How a guide on this island. How long you been a guide on the island? I do that about uh, 24 years. I'm trying to link people to his history on this island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Issa Kamara. My number is uh, 221 Yes. Thank you, thank you, Issa. Let me just see real quick. And up here is where the masters would be. This is where they would come up here and just all the light and downstairs you just you crying. I'm telling you, I can't say it enough. That's evil. Evil. I think you can own another human being as if they're nothing. That's evil. What do you say? I don't know. Sometimes um
we had a chance to go out there to go island and we were actually lucky that man you know how he was like i told him i'm from kenya and he started speaking and then he started giving us a tour um we were only there with him for a little bit but he was so helpful we learned so much of course we gave him a tip for his services but we were just it's 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 a hard history to learn or to be reminded of you know but at the end of the day it's needed it's needed and you, it's best to go to know what had really happened in the actual place you can learn something from the books but it's different but it's different actually hearing seeing it in person okay let's go because mommy's done with me <laughs> now we're going back but we at the ATM trying to get some money because we don't have enough money to go back home and this ATM is acting up and if it doesn't work I don't know how we're gonna get home we're having a really hard time getting a taxi yeah so we feel kind of just stranded we just standing here waiting for maybe one to come so we'll see how it goes as we are standing just right here on the side of the road with the cars passing trying to get a taxi from there it was a it was a little hard but only because it's it's traffic time so it's really really busy out here but we got it and our Airbnb guy ended up speaking to the driver so it's helping us out oh my god we made it back that ride was just brutal well, no, let me say it again. It was tough. <laughs> let, me say, let me say it again. Being able to get off the boat, okay, fine. It took us forever to get a taxi. Because it's traffic time for them, so it was hard. The taxis were just full. And then, by the time we got in the taxi, we, we started walking. We were like, let's just walk, and then we'll bump into a taxi that wasn't full, or that was empty. Thank God we did. We found somebody. He allowed us to go in. He charged us 5,000 milli safa. That's how you say the money here. Um, and I, be I, I, I believe I said it correctly. And when we got in, he kind of knew what I was talking about because I said it off. And then when we got inside, I had, I called the Airbnb guy to talk to the driver. And then he told him the rest of the way. And then that ride was so long, the traffic was so bad. Yeah. I was knocked out. I <laughs> think all three of us were knocked out.